Hey friends, so instead of doing my normal lunchtime exercise, you can see the treadmill crying in the background, uh, I've decided to uh, do uh, some awareness streams as I lead up to Friday. Since the last time I streamed, I've gotten a sweet new logo. Uh, thank you, Patrick King. Uh, check him out, Patrick King Art. Uh, you can find him on Facebook, DeviantArt. Uh, he's on Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, it's really feeling like a, like a legit thing this year. I've got a team of five people now, uh, thanks to Churd and Kurt and Adam and Mackenzie, who have all joined uh, the Rock for Life, ROC for Life team here in Rochester, New York, uh, streaming for Galasano's Children's Hospital this, uh, this week. Uh, I think we're all planning on probably keeping each other company <laughs> uh, and, and playing games together to raise money for uh the children's hospital the the hashtag this year is just that kids can't wait and that is super true so anyone who's ever known or people themselves i see people participating who are donating to the children's miracle network hospital that saved their life as a baby uh which is crazy to think about that kids born in 2000 or 20 this year um there are kids at midnight who can drink um on new year's eve so yeah anyway i uh i'm just doing that i figured i'd play something uh spooky light in honor of the halloween hangover um i hope everyone had a safe and and good and happy halloween um i know we had we had fun uh quinn was really excited to go to uh the she called it the eyeball house it was someone in our neighborhood who had <laughs> uh these big inflatable eyeballs in their front yard and she would see them every time we'd go past um and they were unfortunately not giving out candy uh this year due to covid they had some signs up apologizing which i mean that wasn't necessary i think everybody knew that if your light was off you, you probably were playing it safe um, but she didn't even get mad. It was really funny. She just wanted to see these eyeballs and this big inflatable cat and they've got dragons and, and like scarecrows and it's, it's really cool. So, um, I wanted to thank all of the people that have already donated, uh, to the extra life cause this year. I've had some really big donations, uh, just in the past weekend, uh, which is awesome. I've got people that I've worked with for years. I've got people that I've just started playing Dungeons and Dragons with this year, uh, donating. I've got family members, um, you know, friends from high school. Every little bit helps. The people that throw in five bucks, I appreciate you all the same uh, as, as you know, my crazy cousin who just throws hundreds of dollars at this because, in his own words, what else am I going to do with it? So um, I appreciate that, and I'm just going to play some Control. Uh, and we'll we'll see how this goes. I've been having a hard time getting my Xbox to read discs. So, oh my. I'm not going to do any of those right now. Um Yeah, it's been it's been a long road long road with my Xbox this year. It does not want to read discs anymore. I feel like even the very first day I got it, it struggled to even just read a blu-ray disc you know you have to pop it out and pop it in a bunch of times before it would register anything and now it's it's really taken to not wanting to read stuff so i was literally just cycling discs through to try and get anything to read and control took so i was like you know what that's like spooky ish and i thought you know halloween being over uh i might as well you know Play something kind of on brand so i mean you have a creepy fractal loading screen why not so and then if anyone did see the post um and i've started kind of hyping it a little bit the idea of a twitch channel that only streams um you know stories or games I play with friends. I'm trying to remember how to play again. There we go. Now we're throwing stuff. 
Oh, you're good. I've locked this place down. I go in this way. Tell me about the hiss. Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they used the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador follows, which made me think that the hiss had to completely erase the people in the south. Is it pretty fucking horrible thought? Not safe for kids. Or they're just using whatever they find in the distance. In any case, they don't really give a hiss at Cal. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. I want to make my life harder. What do you do here, Rich? Security chief of the maintenance section. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother me. Learned everything I know from Salvador. Best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we can fix pipes instead of writing memos. I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn world. Hell yeah. The Bureau of Control, if you're playing along at home. Temperature, rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. I feel like her voice is from, <coughs> is from something. I'll have to look that up. I feel like that voice actress is familiar. I don't know if it's a full motion capture, but it sounds like someone what from something else that I've watched recently. talking about the weird gun that I have. Tell me about the janitor. All right. Well, thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, automatic doors. That was my save point. Give me a map. That's not a map. That's not a map. There's a map. Load map. Wow, this game is really choking right now. I feel like Remedy's put a lot of work into making next-gen looks a lot more compatible versus, you know, what we're experiencing here. Come on. Give me my map lines. I need to know how to get to there. This is kind of familiar. so annoying. Can we not opening? What's the button to do? I pushed it apparently for no reason whatsoever. Go through here. Control room. have to kill some stuff. Oh, I remember this. I got here and didn't know what to do. Fast travel. I have abilities to unlock because everybody likes to watch you play the menu. Not enough points. What do I have? One? I 
don't I literally don't have enough points to do anything. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Creepy, creepy, creepy. This is not a long range weapon. How do I convert my gun? Hmm. Do it from the menu? I feel like I can switch it on the fly. Bear with me. It has been a while. Well, that's a dodge. Nope. Too far. Needs a reboot. Not built for this. How do I convert my gun? That's crouch. That's dodge. Let's throw things at high velocity. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You're behind me. There's the map. I'm headed to the right thing. But how? There we go. Turn it from shatter to the grip. Is there a menu? Hmm. They're both equipped. How do I switch? Tell me how to switch. I bet the controls tell me. No pun intended. Options, control, sprint, shoot, aim, launch, melee, UC, switch weapon, X. Well, that was easy. Oh, right, because there's no reload in this game. There we go. Flicky, flicky. Dummy. I couldn't just push every button. Let's go figure. Center mass. Creepy, creepy death. Oh, hey. I made you less alive. That is, this just never gets old. Oh, you can, you can open back up. Thank you. What do you got for me? Seems like a weird way to use telekinesis, but... Is that it? There's nothing else in here? Just some beds and a collectible? A sink and a potty? Oh god, I've been hanging around four-year-old too much. Everything's a potty. You scared me. It's not nice. Launch efficiency mod. I don't know what that means, but I hope I get powerful enough at some point to... Oh, hey. To just... Pick up the dudes. You locked? You're locked. Well, if anybody is popping in on this stream, uh, you know, feel free to... Look at my extra life page, join my team, raise money for Children's Hospital here in Rochester, New York. Um, again, it's just a, a good thing that I like to do every year. I feel like it's a thing that can make a difference and it feels good after, you know, 
I think this is my sixth year doing it. It it feels good to look back and say like, wow, I've raised more than five thousand dollars for a children's hospital. That just does not get old. <laughs> that is fun every time. I also feel like I'm going the right way because they don't just throw random. Oh, hey, floating dudes. We're going to try to save you, I think. Um, I feel like they don't just spawn enemies if you're doing it wrong. So there we go. Oh, you're locked. But that, that is where I want to be. And I need to be in here. What puzzle am I solving in here? Oh. Power up. I think I saw another one of those before. Whee. Oh man, I forgot I got that movement ability. That's fun. You're just debris. Where's... There's a power cell. Boop. That looks like instant death, so I will not go down there. Okay. That's up and humming. I want to fight more creepy dudes. Pop up here, pop up there. Is that door unlocked? Still no? Hmm. Like, I don't even have to be looking at stuff as she just grabs things. Go away. <laughs> You're freaking me out. Alright, um... I guess I'll go down through there. I feel like I just passed through here, though. I might have missed some of those, um, those little power cells. Oh, hey, all the computers are set back up. Is that good game design, bad game design, or just do we chalk it up to makes for a good creepy factor? Shelter doesn't get me where I need to be. You're powered up. Is there one on the top? Hmm. They've got batteries coming out the wazoo here. Oh, I need to power this one on. Great. Perfect. Now that she's talking all badass, I can only assume I'm going to have to fight a bunch of stuff. Collectibles. Correspondence. Upcoming game reminder. I want to know, can I, I can grab the succulents <laughs> and explode them? I just love the design of this game. Like, everything's like retro but not <laughs> they got those like old phones and old computers it's got a, a real aesthetic I feel like Remedy does a lot of cool stuff oh hey that's all the dudes to kill Good news is all those little turquoise bits are health. Ritual impulse. Oh, hey, I can cleanse this. Let's uh, do that. Crazy. I haven't played this game in so long, but I still remember that it was called cleansing. 
beautiful and it makes all the geometry go away. <laughs> Be less creepy, Bureau of Control. I guess I'm a director now. Boop. Leave it to Remedy to come up with a reason why your gun <laughs> doesn't need to be reloaded and is also a plot device. Oh. Everywhere is messed up. Speak with That's Emily. It. The other sector should be open now. Where is time I told Emily why I'm here? I'll risk it. The two should get to know each other. Uh, yes. My little friend, I can't remember what she calls it, but that's like what gives me my telekinetic stuff. Save. I fast travel. Do I get yeah, there's the map. Where's Emily? Hmm. Oh, there it was. Central intelligence. not good for ambiance but it's good for time saving when you can only play for a little while on your lunch break yeah I'm up to $900 as of today which is fantastic I think that's the most I've ever had going into game day and I'm hoping with the pandemic, everybody is, you know, around and willing to at least tune in for a little bit. I realize that watching other people play video games isn't something that a lot of people like doing, but there's a billion dollar industry <laughs> uh, centered around Twitch. So go some story time screw it just tell her i haven't been completely honest i have a younger brother dylan when we were kids we found an old flag projector in ordinary landfill this lie was created I don't actually know any more than anyone watching does, by the way. <laughs> a being. A being. What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn this projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways. I'm not actually interested in helping the bureau. <laughs>
So I looked into the ordinary ABV case laws after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of entertainment set you were reserved for it. McKay has had them in active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this room you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. The one is P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. That's me. Hey, do you have level four that I could take? Five, six, do we have? Thanks, creepy old dude. <laughs> old boys club. Against major targets. Oh gosh. Can I fast travel? Close enough. Oh, that's a good tip to know, because I did not remember that there was fall damage in this game. <laughs> Super Mario just has you believing that you're invincible. And then Portal 2 has you thinking the same thing. So they tried to explain that away in Portal. Let's see how far I can get before I gotta go. This one. I can. Give me. Let's put my fundraiser on there. Bam. Save. All right, cool. All right, through maintenance. Where the creepy man says he was going. Eliminate key hiss targets. Does this room still kill me? Yes, this room still kills me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going in there. Oh. I'm just shooting the wall, Liz. Ouch. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, no. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. You see what I mean? Creepy light. Every time I accidentally kick a cord underneath my desk, I assume that I've jostled something loose and my Xbox is going to just fry, turn off, kick me out. Oh, all right, let's go in smarter this time since I was not expecting there to be enemies there. <laughs> all right, pistol. Stuff to throw. And now there's no one. What? <laughs> Is this game messing with me? Oh, there they are. Maybe it happened when I was shooting. Oh, you're right up on me. Ugh. No, no, <laughs> I ran out of telekinesis and health. Uh, why are they spawning in different places? <laughs> Makes it really hard to learn. Learn patterns and survive. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this will be as far as I get today. So. So I won't bore everybody with uh, waiting for the game to reload. I uh, do want to say thanks to everyone who's uh, tuned in. Thanks to anyone who <laughs> watches any of uh, these streams that I get going. Um, I appreciate anybody who donates, anybody who shares. Um, shares the fundraiser, shares the stream. Um, for any of... The cool gaming people who want to stick around after Extra Life is done and see what I can make of Story Friends, that's cool. Um, story Friends, Story and Friends, however you want to look at it. Again, it's all the things that... It's the two big reasons why I play any game. So um, I'm either playing because I want to consume a narrative or I'm playing to socialize with, you know, other people. Usually my friends. Sometimes randoms, but usually my friends. Um, you know, in my mind, a, a good video game is like, you know, a book <laughs> that you just read and you get attached to. Um, so I like to play games like that, that are driven by those things. Sometimes they're fun to, to challenge yourself. You know, that's not to say that you won't see like, you won't see me play Tetris on here or something, <laughs> but Tetris doesn't really have a story and you don't necessarily play it with friends, but it's still uh, a challenging experience and there's, um, you know, something to be said. Um, you can't play Tetris with friends and you can dump garbage on them and make them angry at you. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, checking this out during what is most likely your lunch hour, unless you're carrying Tom out in Washington where your day is just starting. Um, you know, thanks for, for taking a peek. Uh, feedback is welcome. I believe I will be back tonight streaming uh, one of the ongoing continuing campaigns of Dungeons and Dragons that I am uh, currently participating in. So you can see the uh, life and adventures of Dr. Ogerman <laughs> and and what those uh, what those zany antics lead to next. Um, so we'll we'll see about how that goes. Uh, I look forward to you know having more feedback and 
raising more money. Let's see if we can't break a thousand dollars this week uh, for extra life, and we'll do it for the kids. So, thanks, and I'll I'll be back. When I was 10, I was hit and ran over by a car. I suffered a traumatic brain injury, a ruptured spleen, a broken tibia, a broken clavicle, and multiple skin graftings. For the traumatic brain injury, it affects my frontal temporal lobe. So that's depression, anxiety, emotion, all of my emotions. A lot of people think that mental health isn't really such a big deal and, oh, you have mental problems, like go to therapy, you'll be fine. But even when you go to therapy, I mean, you can't live in your therapist's office. You have to go through daily life. You have to see other people. You have to be around everybody. A lot of different things in my life have gotten better because of the car accident. It's made me a stronger person. And I don't believe old Alexis would have, I mean, she was great and all, but this Alexis, I love her better. If you give donations to Children's Miracle Network, it's not about the money, it's about the love, and it's about the life that you're saving, so that that person can have love as well.